Hey everyone, welcome to another review, and here's my review for the movie Jackie. Yes, Jackie stars Natalie Portman, Peter Sarsgaard, Greta Gerwin, jo John Hurt, and Billy Crudup, and this movie is directed by Pablo Lorraine, and this guy is directing movies that I have not seen yet, but this is the first Pablo Lorraine movie I've seen, and this movie Jackie is about the assassination of JFK, but wait, this is really about JFK's wife. Yes, this is the aftermath of the assassination of JFK, but this is all about Jackie, yes, his wife, yes, this is about her dealing with the loss of her husband and stuff, and what she has to do with the media and stuff, and basically her time briefly in the White House because she had to take over after JFK died. That's basically it. This is what this movie's about. This movie is about JFK's wife after he dies. Honestly, that's a pretty damn good idea for a movie because mostly when they do movies like this, it's about like JFK himself. Like maybe they would have done a biopic or stuff, or like movies like JFK and Thirteen Days, when either it's about the trial of his death or about what he had to deal with during the Cuban Missile Crisis. No, but this is actually about his wife and about the people dealing with his death and stuff. And yeah, I was really interested to see this movie because. I haven't seen a movie like this, like, about a wife or something, or a husband about a political figure and stuff. Like, when we get movies like The Queen or The Iron Lady, those are about women leaders, like the Queen of England and Mar Margaret Thatcher, the Prime Minister. This is about a wife. It's about the First Lady. That's a very interesting idea for a film, and I was excited to see this movie, and I saw it, and... I really liked it. This movie, Jackie, is a really solid movie. It's well acted, well directed, very well structured, and I was very invested with this character, the lead character, played by Natalie Portman. I have to say right now, Natalie Portman as the lead character, that is just perfect casting. Natalie Portman is a fantastic actress. Yes, when you watch movies like Mr. McGurian's Wonder Reporium, the Star Wars prequels, Your Highness, even this year's Jane Got a Gun, you, you forget that Natalie Portman has talent. When you watch movies like Viva Vendetta, Black Swan, and Garden State, that showcases her acting capability. This movie is like those movies. This really showcases her acting capability. She is sensational in this movie. This is probably her third best performance in her entire career. Yes, I still think Black Swan is her best performance. V for Vedena is a close second, but this is a close third. I thought she was amazing in this movie. Natalie Portman was Fantastic. She did an amazing job. She was very compelling, very likable, very sympathetic. She did the emotional scenes, but she also did those really powerful political scenes incredibly well. She really held her own. She actually made this entire movie. This movie has a lot of great cast members, but she stole the whole movie. This movie is about her. And she made it about her. Like, she wasn't outshined by the, any of the supporting cast members. As good as they were in this movie, this was her movie, and she was amazing in this movie. But that being said, the supporting cast, they were all very, very well done in this movie. Greta Gerwig, she's amazing in everything. She's fantastic. Finally, she does a movie that's not a Noel Baumbach movie. And John Hurt, John Hurt's also great in everything. Billy Crudup was great. Uh, Peter Skarsgård, they're all very good in this movie. But again... This movie showcases Natalie Portman's brilliant acting, and she is amazing as the wife of uh, JFK. She is just so good in this movie. And this movie is directed by a filmmaker that is very well known to some people. Not me personally, but he did an amazing job. Pablo Arrain directed this movie, and he did a very good job. Very well directed film, very well executed film, and yeah, the writing was also really well done too. Again, this movie felt like a Darren Aronofsky movie. I don't know why. I heard he, I think he was like one of the executive producers or producers of the film. This movie feels very Darren Aronofsky-esque. Like, you kind of figure she was in Darren Aronofsky's Black Swan, but this movie felt like a Darren Aronofsky movie, like, between its tone and its shots and just the way it feels. It just feels like a Darren Aronofsky movie. I don't know if he had a lot to say during the filming of this movie. I don't know, but it felt like a Darren Aronofsky movie. That's a plus in my books, because I love Darren Aronofsky. He can do no wrong other than The Fountain, which is kind of underwhelming. But yeah, I love his movies. Anyways, enough about Darren Aronofsky. This movie, Jackie, is a solid movie. This movie isn't perfect, though. There are... 
I don't want to spoil the movie, but there are some things I wanted to be in this movie. I wanted them to show certain things, but they didn't show it. I don't know why. I, I can't spoil those things because I don't want to spoil the movie and stuff, but there's some things I wanted them to talk about. And I wanted them to show in the film, but they didn't end up showing it which was a little disappointing. This movie also isn't a perfect film, but it's still a really well done film and a very interesting film, especially for any of you history buffs. This is a very good political movie that has amazing acting, amazing writing, and amazing direction. The score is also riveting. The cinematography is also very well done. And this movie, just all in all, is a great film, and I highly recommend this movie. I can definitely see Natalie Portman getting a Best Actress nomination, for sure. She is very well deserved of Best Actress nomination. I don't know if this movie will get a Best Picture nomination, but if it does, I wouldn't mind, because this movie was really good. I could definitely see myself watching it a couple more times in the near future. I highly recommend the movie Jackie. So yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give the movie Jackie an 8.4 out of 10. So yeah, please, check it out. It's a great movie. So yeah, that was my review for the movie Jackie. So in the comment section below, please tell me what is your favorite movie about a political figure, or whether it's a president or a first lady or anything like that. What are your What is your favorite movie about a political figure, a political leader? My favorite is probably ooh, I don't know. Lincoln is up there, so is the King's Speech. But what is your favorite? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, for this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.